This area might just be the most important spot in America right now, as it is worth over $1 trillion. There's something incredibly valuable hidden right here at Thacker Pass, and it is going to shake things up, not just in Nevada, but in the U.S. economy and its global relations. The McDermott Caldera is a massive area, about 28 miles long by 22 miles wide, stretching across northern Nevada and southern Oregon. It's in Humboldt County, a quiet, rural place with just one main city that's going to change a lot in the next 5 to 10 years. That's because they found white gold there. We're talking about lithium. And to explain why this metal is so important, we need a scale. On one side, we place a chunk of lithium, and on the other, an apple. What do you think will happen? If both have the same volume, the scale is going to tip toward the apple. That's because lithium is super light. Its density is about 0.3 ounces per cubic inch, which makes it the lightest solid you can find at room temperature. Lithium is also extremely reactive. That means it combines with other elements very easily, and it can catch fire just as easily. Mix it with water, fire. Expose it to air, yep, fire again. But when you combine its lightness with its high reactivity, you get a material that's perfect for batteries. Like the one powering your smartphone, laptop, or even your electric car. Nevada's been hiding this treasure for about 16 million years. The McDermott Caldera used to be a volcanic hotspot, spewing molten rock and creating a huge lake filled with mineral-rich waters. Over time, that lake dried up, leaving behind thick layers of clay loaded with lithium. Right now, Thacker Pass Mine is sitting on one of the biggest untapped lithium reserves in the world, worth about $1.5 trillion. If everything goes as planned, they expect it to produce about 40,000 tons of high-quality lithium a year. And that's enough to make batteries for up to 800,000 electric cars. Like I mentioned earlier, this metal is the backbone of modern batteries. And with the world racing toward green energy, the demand for lithium is skyrocketing. Since 2020, its price has gone up more than 10 times, making it the most expensive battery metal in the world. That means it's way more expensive than magnesium, nickel, cobalt, and other materials used in rechargeable batteries. Right now, we're using about 1.16 million tons of lithium per year, and roughly 85% of it goes into making batteries, mostly for cars. Between 2030 and 2040, experts think we will need to double the money we're putting into production, from $94 billion to $188 billion. At the same time, investment in batteries will jump by over 200% reaching $686 billion. Finally, by 2050, the demand for lithium is expected to be more than 10 times higher than what we're producing now. Sorry, I know that's a lot of numbers, but I just want to show how important Thacker Pass will be for the whole world. This mine is going to be key to keeping everything running. I mean, literally, since most of the future demand will be for things like cars, electric bikes, scooters, and renewable energy storage. Nevada could also be the epicenter of a global energy revolution, with the U.S. aiming to cut pollution by 50% by 2030. A big part of that is replacing gas-powered vehicles with electric ones. And to make that happen, America is going to need a whole lot more lithium than it's producing right now. Nowadays, most of the metal used in the United States come from countries like Chile and Argentina. So if America wants to be a leader in this market, it really needs to invest more and more in projects like Thacker Pass. But there's another challenge. Finding lithium in a mine is one thing, but refining it is another story. Just like diamonds are carefully cut and shaped to bring out their sparkle and sold in rings and necklaces, something similar needs to be done with lithium. The raw material that comes from the mines has to be refined into a pure form that can actually be used in things like batteries. And China pretty much dominates this part of the market, and they're responsible for about 75% of global lithium-ion battery production. In other words, it doesn't matter if a country finds this powerful metal on its land, it will probably still need China to help refine it. 
So, the U.S. is eager to strengthen its supply chain. In fact, they're so excited about this possibility that authorities have invested over $2 billion in loans into the Nevada project. Because of that, Thacker Pass could make the U.S. a leader in lithium production worldwide. If their estimates are right, the McDermott Caldera could hold nearly half of the world's known lithium reserves. It would almost double the reserves found in Bolivia's salt flats, for example, which used to hold the record for the world's largest deposit. This discovery is about to change Humboldt County for good. Those quiet streets surrounded by nature will never feel the same again. The mine will need about 2,000 workers who will probably move there from other cities. Those workers will need houses, hospitals, schools for their kids, and all the necessary services. Do you see how it's like a ripple effect? For every person hired to work on the project during construction, six more people will get hired in the state to support them. Thacker Pass is also going to have a huge impact on the economy, not just in Nevada, but all across the country. People expect the mine to be active for 35 years, and each year, it's expected to generate over $2 billion. But here's the thing. In Thacker Pass, they'll be extracting lithium from clay, and this process has never been done on such a huge scale before. So it's kind of a hit or miss, but if it works, it could completely change the industry. Big question, who's interested in all this? Well, we've got three big companies eyeing the lithium market in the US. First, there's ExxonMobil. The oil giant wants to start producing lithium by 2027, and they have plans to become the top supplier for electric vehicles by 2030. Then there's General Motors, the company behind big car brands like Chevrolet and Cadillac. They're so interested in this business that they agreed to pay $625 million for a 38% stake in Thacker Pass. And finally, Tesla. In 2023, they started building a factory in Texas to process lithium. It's all part of their plan to handle more of their supply chain themselves. Now that you know how important lithium is, you might be wondering, what if we run out? Hmm. Well, that could happen, since it comes from mining and, just like gold, is a finite resource. But that doesn't mean we'd have to give up smartphones or electric cars. If we ever run out of this metal, we'd probably find new ways to produce batteries. In fact, some experts think thermal batteries could be the next big thing. They store extra energy from renewable resources like wind or solar power which are very cheap. So, they represent a new way of storing energy at a small fraction of the cost. Nowadays, they're primarily used for powering the production of steel, cement, and chemicals. Thermal batteries are also being used to heat and cool large buildings. However, more and more projects are focusing on bringing this technology into private spaces, like houses and apartments. Experts are optimistic that initiatives like these could make thermal batteries as well known as electric batteries, and they might soon become a regular part of our daily lives. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.